Today, we will be creating a bar graph in Google Docs. First, we need to navigate to Google Docs. To do this, we can either go to docs.google.com or click on Documents on the Google homepage. For some users, Google Documents may have been replaced by Google Drive. Google Drive still retains all the functionality that Google Docs did. Let's create a new document by clicking Create and Spreadsheet. Let's name this document My First Bar Graph. Now let's say we want to compare the average score of runners um, who wore different kinds of shoes. So let's say this will be those runners who wore Reebok and those who wore Adidas and then those who wore Nike shoes and those who wore just generically branded shoes or the generic shoes. Reebok. So those who wore Reebok shoes scored an average of 24 minutes on the, on the race. And those who wore Adidas scored an average of 26 minutes. Nike, they scored an average of 22 minutes. And those who wore generic scored an average of 25 minutes. Now let's create a chart off of this, or a um, chart or bar graph. So let's select this, insert, chart. This will pop up. We want to click on horizontal bar graph or, um, uh, I mean, sorry, horizontal bar graph or vertical bar graph. Now click, let's go to customize and let's give our graph a title. Let's name this um, runners times um, um, runners times with different shoes. It's an incorrect title, but uh, who matters? It's not the best title. Uh, who cares? Sorry, my bad. Um, axis. Let's name the horizontal axis type of shoes and let's name the left vertical axis um, minutes to complete race alright and then let's also give this a minimum of zero and let's give this a max of 50 because we want to see the full scale so we'll see that uh, actually ooh, how about we put um, you know that's fine and that and then I don't like Reebok being blue so let's make it light green and Adidas can't be red so let's make it blue so you can change the different colors of the bars there and let's just click insert and now we have our very own bar graph based on this information here now we can either copy this to our web clipboard by clicking copying chart and it'll copy to your web clipboard or you can save the save the chart as an image. This will download the chart right there, and you can use it in any application you want. Since it's an image, you will lose the functionality of being able to mouse over the bars and seeing um, what the numbers is, such as like right there.